Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here joined by Christmas. We're here for practice for round one of the US Drift Series here on a set of course that is happening on Sunday the 13th presented by Podium Esports on Switch. Make sure you guys follow us on there. We've been qualifying this week. So we're going to take a little course walk here today so you guys can see what track we're running. We are running at English Town. So let's go take a look. Obviously we have their traditional chicane start. We're gonna cruise this through. We have the lead car, do not cross line, which is definitely very tickled when you're uh, trying to do a flick entry out here where this is actually very bumpy. And we gotta get out this wall. As you can see, the car's bouncing a little bit for this outer zone. And that outer zone turns into another outer zone that if you touch this grass, you are done. And the cars, these cars do not have that much angle in their steering, so if you touch that grass, you're screwed. You have a third outer zone, which also transitions to a fourth outer zone, and then a fifth outer zone with a bit of a decel section here to the front inner clip, which flicks us to this very bumpy section. You can see the car bouncing up and down, and you have to transition into here, which has a very heavy bump right there at you see the front of Christmas's car just bottom out and then you have this wall ride to end off the run so it's a pretty uh pretty flowy track pretty fun track so we're gonna get some practice runs in here lead chase kind of doing some uh doing some testing here for today because we are qualifying this week and going to be hopefully qualifying in and competing on Sunday I'll leave all the link for everywhere you can watch it down in the description box below so uh yeah let's go full send Gonna have a sip of our uh, coldest water bottle here. Big thank you to Coldest Water for sponsoring another video here on the channel. With the temperatures in 80, 90 degrees, it's definitely good to have this bottle right next to me, full of cold water because uh, it gets a little, it gets a little hot when you're doing some tandems. So, are you ready for this, Nate? It's spicy. Let's do it. So we're gonna, we are have a base tune on these cars. We're gonna be doing a third gear entry. Not crossing the line, we're gonna kind of initiate in, use the brace to slow us down. As you can see, the bumps in the back of my car just causing my tires to go up into my fenders. Nice, smooth on the outer zone so far. A little quick change there and a little bit of a decel zone. A little decel, a little grass drop. Would have punted that clip. Not totally terrible, which kind of offset me on this line. Oh, and that's where I feel a lot of people are gonna have some issues. Trying to get deep into that wall. We also got to remember not to spawn the pits. Um, <laughs> riding deep into that wall is going to be very treacherous, but you want to be deep into the wall, but you don't want to be too deep where you totally biff it. So we're going to see if I can't get a nice solid chase. It'll be nice when we have a start, start light to know when to go so one of us doesn't get a jump. Initiate in right here. Ooh. And right there, I ran out of angle lock. I tried to get too close to him, which is, you know, being super aggressive, but the cars do not have that much angle. We are in the World Drift Tours street cars for this competition, spec cars. We decided to run the R32s. Oh, kind of tucked into the wall there. Kind of a little bump. I'm just going to spawn the pits. We're just in practice. So. As you can see, the track is quite bumpy, and it's it's going to take some good fine-tuning in the suspension in order to get the cars to handle exactly right on those bumps, which is something that we are still in the work phase with, with trying to you know, develop a tune. We have a good base map tune. I believe Addy and a couple other guys are running our 32 so we may cross-reference data with some iTanum guys to see what they're running versus what we're running right now. Because, you know, Addy, big help in tuning my pro car, which we have big changes for ESDA round four. So we're doing a chassis change. So that's something you guys can look forward to the channel here very shortly. Dipping all my tire in the grass. Let's see if we can't I actually... looped it. You looped it? Let's see if we can't I looped it. get into this outer zone. Just a little tail tap towards the end, we managed to complete that zone without totally screwing up. But this track is definitely, definitely challenging in its own aspect, and it's definitely a fun series. Can't wait, you know, to run U.S. Drift. 
like round one, just to, uh, you know, seat time is key. And that's all this is about is seat time. And we're in a little bit behind him this time so we don't smack into his door. There we go. Now we can tuck up into the pocket. Not as I'm much dirty. smoke. Whew, I almost killed you. Not as much smoke when I was trying to chase. Ah, grass killed me. Not as much smoke in the chase position, right? Unlike an ESDA with those thousand plus horsepower cars. These cars only like 300 and I think 34 horsepower is where we're at. So a lot less smoke being thrown up in my face, which is always a good thing. I am very excited to try running these cars in a higher horsepower tier after after this week when uh, we can mess with our brains on this track. Oh, you mean mess with some higher horsepower cars? Yes, hi oh, try yeah. higher horsepower cars. That way we're not messing ourselves up for the upcoming comp and qualifying. Right. That's why I'm not really driving my new pro chassis at the moment. Well, it's currently being built. Well, it's built. Did a lot of work on it, but I'm way off that zone. Got to keep mindset of what you're driving and not go back and forth and back and forth because, oh, that'll happen. Yup. I think I may have screwed you up on that one with my weird I, angle fluctuation. I angled up so much following you and I I ran out of steering lock. Yeah, I ran out of steering lock and had the clutch in, so that was also my fault, which is one thing I'm going to have to be very mindful of. These cars do not have that much lock. I think they're like 50-some degrees. 55 degrees maybe or 50 because I think my pro car is 25 more or 20 more I'm not sure I think these are 55 and the pro cars are 70 Ooh. a little lot of boost there my car was fine in boost it's just uh oh I killed just... it there this is going to be end. a challenging track. <laughs> to be able to stay oh, super consistent, this is going to be a fun event. So make sure you guys... breaking my tilly. Yeah, right? Make sure you guys come watch it on Sunday. Like I said, I'll leave all the information. It's the same place you can watch ESDA, Podium Esports Switch. They will be broadcasting and presenting round one of the U.S. Drift Series. Here on Seta Corsa, hopefully we will be in battles. Oh, oh my, it's really bumpy when you're against the wall. No, grass, 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 grass. I saved it. Didn't zero. But definitely would have had a huge deduction. Oh, there you go. Creeping up on my door in the last outer zone. That was, that was pretty good. I almost zeroed from that little bit of D cell going up that hill. Yeah, a little D cell kind of. I saw that. I well, I was it's, in grass, so unfortunately, yeah, I went a little yeah, hard it, on that entry. It is a touchy hill to go up. You got to get that fine tune of left foot brake to keep the angle the way you want it to be, but to not be too little, heavy on it. Exactly. And don't do that. Ugh, I didn't zero, but I definitely came out of line. We managed to stay in angle, but we were way out of line. Trying to make something of it towards the last part of the track. Whew. Man, if I could just do that. Yeah, if you could just do that, you'd be time. set. <laughs> I could do that every time. It's a matter it's gonna be a matter of nerves, I feel. Exactly. Exactly. Stepping up to the line. People don't realize it may be a set of course that maybe just, you know, a virtual competition, but you know, it's still nerve wracking. Nerves are still there. That little kicker over that top part kind of throws you an angle. Weird. Oh, nitrous boost. I didn't oh. give you enough room to transition. Yeah, and that threw you into the grass. <laughs> oh, yeah, it threw me way off the line. I zeroed up behind you. I think I need to dial in some more grip in this car. I think I'm going to make some fine adjustments, but <laughs> we're not doing those live here. You know, secret sauce recipe that I'm 
gonna be running, you know, gotta keep some things a secret. Ah. Go that way. <laughs> so I hope see, you guys... ladies and gentlemen, this is called cheating. <laughs> Damaging your opponent's car before the run. I hope everybody's enjoying all the comp content. We've got a lot of comp content coming up with the ESDA and US Drift Series. Definitely something I was super excited to get back to doing. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a pretty good run. Oh, as I say that. <laughs> hey, don't say it too soon. Ah, oh, ran out of speed. So I think we're gonna do one more full lead here. See if we can't get really out to that wall. We're gonna try and go super far on the wall. I gotta make sure I don't cross this blue line. I keep kind of touching it with my left front tire, which I need to not do. I need to stay closer to the wall. So one final run I'm here. Close to the white wall, off rip. Yeah, one final run here for today's episode here on a set of course. A big thank you to Christmas for coming out for practice. Well. He needs it just as much as I do. They probably would have docked me for the handbrake pull in that zone, though. Oh, too much gas love. Wait. You, had, you had nowhere to go. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. I hope you guys are enjoying all the content. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll found in the description box below. He's trying to kill me. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.